ಶ್ರೀ ಗಣೇಶ ಶಾರದ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ರಾಮಾಯ ರಾಮಭದ್ರಾಯ ರಾಮಚಂದ್ರಾಯ ವೇದಸಿ ರಘುನಾಥಾಯ ನಾಥಾಯ ಸೀತಾಯ ಪತೆಗೆ ನಮಃ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ಆನ್ ರಾಮಾಯಣ ಟು ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ಆಫ್ ಗಣ್ಯಕಾಂಡ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಕಪಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಸೀಯಿಂಗ್ ದ ಲ್ಯಾಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ರಾಮ ಓವರ್ ಲೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಸೀತಾ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಾರೆಸ್ಟ್ ವೈಲ್ ಬೋತ್ ರಾಮ ಅಂಡ್ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಣ ವರ್ ಅವೇ they are searching her for her everywhere in the forest but to no avail as sita is already abducted by ravana and she was taken over to lanka that son of a king stricken with sorrow and a prey to anxiety separated from his dear one having caused his brother distress fell into deeper and deeper despondency sunk in an abyss of grief Rama with burning sighs and deep groans addressed Lakshmana who ha- who was overwhelmed with anxiety in words inspired by his own affliction saying there is none in the world i deem more wretched than i now the uh, prince rama started lamenting cursing himself there is none in the world i deem more wretched than i misfortune after misfortune follow each other in uninterrupted succession it is breaking my heart surely formerly i either designed or executed innumerable evil acts and now their fruit has matured and greater and greater calamities beset me the loss of my kingdom separation from my relatives the parting from my mother the remembrance of these things adds to the sum of my happiness sum of my unhappiness that those griefs were forgotten as also the privation of my exile in the forest but now the disappearance of sita reawakens this memory as an almost extinct brazier suddenly bursts into flame my youthful and timid spouse has been carried away through the sky by a titan emitting heart-rending cries unceasingly in her terror she who formerly was a wound to converse so sweetly assuredly the breast of my beloved sprinkled with saffron of great price is now soiled with blood and dust yet i still live sita whose speech was gentle clear and sweet whose beauty was enhanced by her curly locks was has grown pale of for having fallen to fallen a prey to the titans and she has lost her radiance as the moon in the month of rahu the neck of my beloved and faithful consort decorated with a string of pearls may even now have been severed by the titans in some deserted place where they are drinking her blood the pride of my presence surrounded by titans in the forest where they dwell and borne away by them the unfortunate lord eyed sita will be crying out pitifully like a wounded osprey in this valley sita of gracious mien sitting beside me addressed you with gentle words and sweet smiles o lakshmana is she perchance wandering on the banks of this most beautiful of rivers the godavari so loved by her but no she has never she never owned to walk alone she never gone there to walk alone she whose face resembled the lotus her eyes like their petals has gone to gather water lilies but how is this possible since without me she would never gather flowers as she entered the forest full of blossoming trees frequented by flocks of birds of every kind alas no she was too timid to venture forth alone and would have died of fear o son witness of all that takes place on earth and of every act be it 
good or evil has my beloved wandered away or has she been abducted oh tell me lest i die of grief oh wind nothing in the world is unknown to you say has sita the flower of her race lost her way or been carried off or is she dead thus did rama lament a victim to grief and despair and the valiant somitri fixed in his duty addressed him in words fitting to the occasion saying o hero abandon your grief and take heart look on the disappearance of your spouse with detachment and engage with vigor in your search for her men of spirit do not allow themselves to be cast down even in the face of extreme adversity thus did the highly powerful lakshmana speak despite his distress but rama the foremost of the house of ragu paid no heed to his words and once again gave himself up to his great sorrow thus ended chapter 63 of aranya kanda in ramayana namaste sharada devi rashmir puravasini tvam aham prarthaye nityam vidyadanancha dehime goodbye